One of the things I get asked a lot about is helping with sales environments. And really what that comes down to for most cases is closing the sale. The ability to close that piece of business when you've got somebody in front of you who's interested is gonna be vital. And so what I wanna do with you today is share just a couple tips to help increase your close ratio, if you will, and see if we can't make you a little bit more money. Number one, I encourage you to always be ready to close during your pitch. This is something I see a lot, especially in people who do like a PowerPoint pitch or presentation. They don't bring a contract with them, and I just don't see why. Bringing that proposal with you when you're done with the presentation, putting it out on the table, shows confidence in your ability to know what it is that you're selling. Shows the client that you've done this a million times before and that this is what typically happens when you do a pitch is you get a close on the sale, right? So when you get done with your presentation, the last slide's probably gonna be about pricing. Go ahead and pull that contract out, pull your proposal out and put it on the table next to you. So the second one is gonna be another very important step that a lot of people miss out on. You've presented the numbers, they've looked at the contract and maybe they're scratching their head or they'll say, all right, well, we're gonna think about it, we'll get back to you. This is where it's really important to ask for the sale. What do I need to do to earn your business? Now, this is something I use. You don't have to use those exact words, but I do encourage you to come up with something where you're asking for the sale. It sounds simple, but far too many times, people just don't do it. So step three, they're more than likely gonna give you some feedback. Hopefully, though, that feedback is things that you can adjust on your proposal, your written or printed out proposal that you already have. And this, again, is where you ask, if I make these adjustments like you've asked, is there any reason why you won't commit? Now again, you're not being overly pushy. You're simply asking, hey, I've made the adjustments that you've asked for. Is there any reason why you wouldn't commit? That's a really key step. All right, so the fourth step kind of comes down to personality. Now as salespeople, we always have the issue of people saying they were too salesy. And I think that there's always a really fine line between being persistent and annoying. And you gotta ride that line. Rather than coming across as if you're more interested in your own success for closing the sale and making the commission, you want to put yourself in their shoes. What is the client going to get out of this sale? How is it going to improve their lives? What things are going to change for them by making this transaction? Use that type of language, like we are going to be able to do this together. Once we get this contract signed, once we start this new marketing program, once we drive off in this new car, get excited for them. That energy and that passion for their advancement is what's gonna make all the world a difference and not come across too cheesy. I hope these tips were helpful for you. If you have any scenarios or questions about any of this stuff that maybe is a little bit different than what I'm describing to you today, feel free to use the comment section below. Also, if you enjoy this stuff, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.